Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about five tips to use when you're trying to evaluate what custom home builder you're gonna use. All right, so like I said, today we're gonna to talk about five tips, not really tricks, really just tips, things to think about uh, whenever you're trying to choose what custom builder you're going to use and this you know is good any anywhere in the world probably whatever custom builder i think these are pretty universal truths that you can kind of hold on to so hey, before we get into that i just want to remind everybody our channel it's all about custom home building so really everything about it the financing the building the planning land acquisition design phase whatever it might be we just really we're passionate about it we want to make sure that anybody that's kind of thinking about a custom home build has all the information to make the best decision possible if they decide to go down that route and we are a local custom home builder. We're here in the Colorado area, uh, home headquartered in Colorado Springs, built all over the state of Colorado. So if you are thinking about a custom home in Colorado, we would love the opportunity to sit down and talk with you and see if we might be a fit for you. All right, so let's get right into it. So number one is, will they build what you're looking for? So, I mean, we all build a custom home because we want a custom home. We want something that's you know likely that we designed or something that maybe a floor plan that we drastically changed to get exactly what we wanted. So there might be a style, a size, uh, a location that you're looking at. So all those things, you really just need to communicate with every builder that you're talking to. And of course, I always highly recommend interview multiple builders to make sure you find the right one. But I think the number one thing you have to consider is, will they build what you're looking for? And if they won't, is there a really good reason of why they won't build that? And maybe they have some good recommendations on why maybe you should alter your kind of thoughts or your plans a little bit. Maybe they know something for your local area that why the design you have, maybe it's not a great fit. So whatever the case may be, you just want to make sure that that's the number one thing. Make sure that whoever you're talking to, that they'll build the house that you are wanting to have built. Or if they won't, they should have a really good reason of why they won't. It sounds pretty basic, but I've seen some folks get pretty far down the path with a certain custom home builder. And then they say, oh, well, wait a minute, we won't actually build that for you. You know, it's too small, it's too big, it's too complicated, whatever the case may be. So just making sure that the builder understands exactly what you're looking for and yeah, that they can definitely build that house for you. The second thing is local knowledge. So, you know, there's custom home builders that build in large regional areas. Like I said, we'll build all over the state of Colorado focus on the front range, but we'll build anywhere in Colorado. There's some other custom builders that might have a branch that builds in even maybe even multiple different states, but you really want to make sure that that custom home builder truly understands the local area. So when we talk about that, we're talking about, do they, you know, how long have they been in that area? Do they understand what the local, the different local municipality codes are? Do they understand what it's like to build in that specific, you know, environment as far as maybe soil types, excavation that might be required, just things because of their local knowledge and the builds that they've done in the area, they can forecast maybe some potential problem areas for your build and help you out with those ahead of time versus maybe a builder that's brand new to the area. They've never experienced it. You know, maybe like in our situation, maybe there's a builder from back east and now they're here in the Rocky Mountain area and building's a little bit different. You know, the soil's different, um, things of that nature. So really making sure that they have good local knowledge and then also making sure that they have good relationships with the trade. So that kind of goes back to that local that local knowledge is, do they know all the trades in the area? Do they know the trades to use and the trades kind of you don't want to use? Again, if it's a brand new builder to the area, some brand new builders are awesome. They're going to be super, super successful, but that's not the case with all of them. I think it's definitely better for a potential a client that's thinking about a build to really make sure that the builder they're going to choose has a lot of local knowledge and they've been in the area for a while so they really understand like i said things like the different municipalities in the area and the codes associated with those municipalities uh, the different problems that you might run into just building in that exact local area versus another part of the country and then just having those partnerships and relationships with local trades knowing what trade partners to use and what trade partners honestly to stay away from so local knowledge so the first two would be definitely will they build what you're looking for and then do they have local knowledge of the area? The third one is expert staff. You know, it's not just gonna be, typically it's not just gonna be one person that you talk through the entire build process. There's usually, you know, someone that helps with, you know, kind of the sales part at the beginning, someone that helps you, you know, kind of answer some questions for you, get you in the door, get you some basic information, set up a consultation meeting, things like that. And then you're probably gonna sit, sit down with maybe the owner of the company or maybe whoever his manager is and learn a little bit more about the company and talk through that process, learn a little bit about what you want to build. 
And then there's probably going to be people on staff or people that they partner with that are going to be intimately involved with the design planning process and then also with the build process. So on the front end of it, kind of that pre-construction part of it, you're definitely going to have a designer that you're going to be working with. So any good custom home builder, a lot of uh, a lot of more kind of subcontract this out to a designer. Some have a designer on staff, like we have the design team on staff that helps our clients through the design process. So making sure that those personnel know what they're doing and they're true experts in their field. So designers, uh, architects, engineers, estimators, it's the estimator. It's probably a guy you're never really going to meet or talk to very much, but he's the one that's putting the numbers together and getting the bids from all the different trades to really come up with how much your house is going to cost. So you certainly want somebody on staff that's a quality estimator, again, that has experience in the field. They know the trade partners. They're going to kind of try to negotiate with the trade partners as well. So expert staff, and that's from top to bottom, from the very, very first person you talk to, everybody else that's going to be involved throughout the process to include those guys that are out in the field, those superintendents, those field supervisors that are going to be the ones actually checking on your house day in and day out to make sure the trades are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. So you really want to quiz any builder on who their staff is, who they have on staff, who they subcontract out to, what that interaction is going to be like for you as the person that's going to be doing the build. So do you have a single point of contact? Are you going to be talking with all these different individuals? What does that communication flow look like? And they're really trying to get a good idea of how much experience those different folks have in their area of expertise. Super important to make sure that you work with a builder that, like I said, either the people on staff or the folks they contract with, that they are true experts in their field. You could have a great builder. I mean, the guys should have great trade partners and they can build amazing houses. But if they have a bad designer, you might end up with a funky floor plan. And let's face it, we're not designers. We don't do this every day, right? So we need someone that can do that for us for as the one that's going to be building the house. We need to make sure that you know the floor plan that we came up with in our head and sketched on it and that can actually make sense. Super important that those personnel are true experts in their field. So um, will they build what you're looking for? Do they have a lot of local knowledge? And do they have expert, true, true experts on staff with a lot of expertise in their specific areas? The fourth one I would talk about is a proven track record. You know, I mean, obviously, um, as I mentioned earlier, there's some there's some custom home builders that are just starting probably today and they're going to be amazing builders. And that might be a great choice to go with them. I think most of us feel more comfortable going with a company that has a proven track record. So proven track record in this world, a lot of that, you know, I think most of us start on with an online search, look at some Google reviews reach out, talk to the company, ask to speak with some of their past clients if they have uh, references that they can give you. I think that's super important. And just kind of just general name in the community. You know, have, have folks heard of them? What kind of work do they do? Have you heard anything bad through the grapevine about them? Um, one thing that I do like to mention to people is on the custom home side, a lot of times custom home builders won't have a model home or, you know, spec homes that you can go just look at. A lot of the times it's, you know, they might build a couple houses and then if those houses are have just closed and the, the families are living there now and then maybe they have a couple other projects that are in the design phase or maybe just at foundation there's really not a lot to look at to really get a feel for what that craftsmanship is and the quality of build and I think quality of build especially on the custom home side is super super important so you've got to talk with the builder and make sure that they have some other things in place to really showcase to you what it is that they do quality of craftsmanship things of that nature Typically, I think a big thing is if they have a build in process or multiple builds, you can see the home at different stages. I think that's super important that a builder be willing to show you those homes. I know for a lot of us, you know, until it gets to kind of the, the final fit and finish, cabinets, trim, tile, flooring, things like that, you know, when it's just frame and drywall and kind of the rough mechanicals, most of us really look at that and like, oh, okay, hey, it looks like a house. You know, we don't really know what we're looking at to a large degree. But whenever it gets towards the end, hopefully the builder has a house that's close to that pro that process so that you can see some of those kind of the trim work, how doors are hung, things of that nature. And then also a lot of good custom builders, they maintain relationships with their past clients, as most uh, a lot of folks do in a business because they want to make sure that they you know are there if the client needs anything in the future, if they have anything wrong with the house they need to take care of. And it's a long process. So a lot of people maintain relationships with their builder after the fact if they've had a good experience. So a lot of builders, because of those relationships, they may have a house that would finish maybe six months ago, a year ago, maybe two or three years ago, that they have a good enough relationship with that client that if you are serious about potentially using them, then they will, um, you know, they'll reach out to that client, they'll ask them, hey, would you mind if we brought someone that's considering building with us through the house just to kind of check things out? 
most clients, if, it, if they build with a quality custom builder, are super happy with the product. And honestly, they're usually pretty proud of it and they want to show it off to people. So not that they want people going through their house every single day of the week, but you know, if it's once a month, once every couple months that a builder has a client or someone that's potentially thinking about becoming a client, but they really want to see a finished product, I think that's a great option is to ask your builder, if they don't offer it up, to ask them if they have someone that's completed a build that would be willing to let you walk through their house with the builder so you can really see what that final, final product looks like. Super important to make sure that they have a proven track record. And I think that starts with, like I said, some online reviews, just some good old fashioned due diligence to make sure that there's nothing being, you know, uh, better business bureau reviews, no bad reviews out there about the builder, nothing in the community that you've heard that's bad looking at their current houses they have in progress. And then also if they don't have one that's fully finished for you to look at, um, getting in touch with maybe a past build and walking through that house so you can really get an idea of what that final product looks like. So proven track record, I think we'd all agree if you definitely, when you're spending the much as much as you are with a custom home, you really wanna make sure you work with someone with a proven track record. And then the last thing I would say, this seems pretty basic, but I think it's probably the most important one, is to make sure the personalities match. You know what I mean? Uh, we say it, and I think most builders say it, that you know we're not the right builder for everybody. There's, you know, 100%. There's there's going to be people that just aren't a good fit for different builders. Could be a great great builder, but maybe just the personalities don't match. Maybe they're a little bit too gruff for your personality, or maybe they're not you know forthcoming enough and not upfront enough, and you, that's really what you want in a builder. So just I think getting to know the builder through an initial consultation, maybe a follow up meeting or two before you actually commit. Um, to really get to understand the personality of the builder as a whole and kind of what their, I guess, kind of uh, concept of customer service and communication is. And then also really those, the personalities, trying to get a little bit of a feel for the personalities of the folks you're gonna communicate with the most. Like I said, there's usually one or two people, maybe three, that you're gonna communicate with throughout the process. And really just making sure that you've had the opportunity to sit down with those people, you know, have just a, a very, very casual conversation and make sure that the personalities match. Because as I've said before, it's not a short process. You know, planning is usually three to six months and then 12 months for a build. Some more complicated projects could be 18 months even more for a build. So it's a long time that you're gonna be working with the builder. So the last thing you wanna do is commit a large financial, um, make a large financial commitment, have all this plan together only to realize that, man, like it is a pain to work with these people. Yeah, they built a great house, but this is gonna be miserable for the next two years. I don't think any of us want that. And I guarantee you that there's a builder that has a personality on their staff that, like, that you're just gonna fit. And I really do feel it's what most of our clients say is that, man, we sat down with you, we just had good feel for you. We thought that you, know, you were forthcoming, you were transparent about everything, you were laid back when you needed to be, but you were forthcoming and upfront when you needed to be. So I think that that personality match is super, super important for this long term of a project and something that sometimes is overlooked. You know, A lot of us, myself included, we get wrapped up in the numbers. We're like, oh, what's the price? What's the price? And that's certainly important, no doubt about that but personality and how that matches with you and your family, super important as well. So to recap real quick, so the five tips that I would say, definitely think about these things as you're interviewing custom builders is number one, of course, will they build what you're looking for? That's pretty darn important to make sure that they're gonna build what you're looking for, where you're looking for it, and within budget, all that stuff kind of goes in that will they build what you're looking for kind of bag. Um, local knowledge, have they been in the area? Do they know the trades? Do they know the codes for local municipalities? Do, you know, do they know what it's like to build in that specific area versus maybe another part of the country? Local knowledge, super important. And then also experts on staff, do, does every single one of their staff members that's gonna have a hand in designing or building your home, do they have a lot of expertise in their specific area? Um, proven track record, so have they been in the area? Do they have good reviews online? Check Better Business Bureau. Make sure that you're asking for references from past clients, walking their products. Um, and if they don't have a product that you can walk that's not quite finished yet, ask if they'll reach out to another client, a past client, so that you can walk through a home that's finished to really see what the fit and finish of that home looks like to make sure you're gonna be comfortable with the level of quality. And then the last one, like I said, super important, make sure the personalities match. The last thing you wanna do is be in a relationship with someone for two years that's just miserable and everybody's unhappy at the end of the day. So again, those are the five tips or the five things that I would most certainly think about if I was gonna be interviewing a custom home builder right now. Um, like I said, we just wanna make sure you get all the information, make the best decision. If you're thinking about a custom home, 
You know, like I said, we're based here in Colorado, but I think these things apply for most builders across the country. And hey, if this is good information, if it's helpful for you, take the time, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you get all the notifications. We're posting new videos at least once a week, most weeks two times a week. Uh, again, just want to make sure you get all the information, make the best decision possible. And if you have any questions at all, no matter where you're at, definitely please take time, reach out, call, text, email, hit us up in the comments below. Take care.